Hello friends, I am Sanket. Our today's topic is UI collection view. So now first of the what is collection view, how to use it, how to implement in your iOS application. Now let's see in practical basis. So now here I am creating one new Xcode projects and the single view applications. Then click on next, write down your application name. So here my application name is collection view and then create. So now what is collection view? So now collection view as an object that manage and order it collections of data items and presents them using customizable layouts. So now in previous session we had discussed about the table view, table view shell. So now in today's topic we will discuss about on collection view. So now here what's the difference between table view and collection view. So now table view is represent your data in cell format. It means raw format. Now in collection view represent your data in grid format. So now you can see here the best example of the collection view. So now this is your simulator screen. So now this all application collection is in between collection view. So now this is collection view. Now let's try to design same layout using our application. So now here you can see your application icon then below your application name. Now let's try to design it. So now for the collection view just go to your control library. We have one control as a collection view. So now here you can see. So now just drag and drop on your screen and if you want to change the modify your height and width of the collection view so now you can okay so now this is the collection view now before we implementing the collection view before we designing our collection view so now it's a mandatory to bind your collection view data source and delegate same as table view so now it's a mandatory relative to you have to access you have to implement the collection view method so now first it's required to bind your data source and delegate with your view controller so now first let's design your collection view so now here first i am changing my collection view background so now here first select your collection view and now go to the collection view properties so now here i am changing now on collection view you can see one item okay it's called also as a cell okay now whenever you create whenever you design a collection view so now by default on connection you can see one item is there now according to this cell okay now go to the library of this cell so now here you can see the most important property of this cell is identifier okay now sam is to in collect custom cell okay now sam property we had also use in custom cell so now here write down your cell identifier now then after you have to modify your cell height or width as per your requirement okay so now here this is my cell now let's design it so according to your requirements so now first i am designing my cell so now first i am changing the background color of shell now here i like to design same layout like that your simulator screen okay now i have to use one image view then for the application name so now i have to use one label okay so now let's design it so now here go to your control library now just search the image view now let's see first whenever you use whenever you design your custom cell collection okay so now here this is the custom collection cell so now you have to also change the property according to height or width here also now here you can see the your cell width is 103 and your height is 97 so now according to this cell i have to design my image view and label okay so now according to your cell width 103 so now here first just drag and drop the image view on your cell so now here according to my cell i'll set 
my image view width so now it's a 103 now right now our image view height is 128 but here I am using as a 80 okay now then after you have to set your image view okay now again I am using as a 17 okay then here I am using one label also okay so now simply just drag and drop so now first you have to set your width of label according to your cell so now here it's a 103 and now height is 1 sorry 28 okay so now here also I am using one label okay so now here you can see there are the two different controls on your cell okay one is image view second one is label so now according to controls you have to also change the property of this control okay so now here I am change some alignments of your control okay I am decreasing the font size of your label okay now same as the custom cell whenever you design your collection cell so now at that time you have to require the custom collection view cell class so now how to create it so now simply first create the new file and now just go to cocoa touch class now for the collection view we have ui collection view cell type class so now here you have to create one class as type ui collection view cell then next and create so now this class is required for this our cell so now here you can see your view hierarchy so now this is your collection view now in between this is your custom cell now in cell one image view and one label so now this cell means our custom cell is required to use this class it means our collection view so now just assign it first so now select your cell and now go to identity inspector and now here just assign your collection view cell class so now in this class you have to create your image view and label outlet okay so now how to create it so now simply just go to here so now just open your collection view cell class and you have to create outlet of your image first so now here my image outlet name is image cell now send you have to also create your label outlet my label outlet name is lbl cell getting so now here we have to use one collection view cell class because here I am using a custom collection view cell okay so now here according to designing I have to use two different control one is image view and second one is lab so now as per requirement we have to design our image view and label with different different images and label data so now how to implement it so now let's try to implement first your collection view so now here go to your view controller dot shift file so now your collection view is binded with your view controller so now here you use a ui collection view data source and ui collection view delegate so now there are the two protocol files there for the implementing the collection view so now here you can see one error now same like whenever you use as a fix so now you can see the two methods are there so now let's try to implement so now there are the two required method of the implementation of collection view so now which so now first is number of item in section and the second one is cell for row item at index bar okay so now these method are the required for the collection view implementation so now first let's try to implement two different array now first for the lbl array so now here i am creating one string array and second for the our image array okay so now here i am creating two different array lbl and the image array okay 
now let's try to implement your array element in your view did load so now here i am creating some element okay so now here i am using my most favorite array collection so now here android ios android java then php then c sharp then python then ruby then angular then node okay so now these are the element of your label array now according to this label array i have to also create one image array so now before we creating first you have to add your images in your projects so now let's try to add here so just click on add file to collection view now here my images is on uh, desktop so now here this is my the images so now just click on add so now these all are the my images according to your image array let's create your image array with name so now here b.png then after c.png then after d.png then after e.png then after f.png g.png h.png and the i.png so now according to your label array counting so now you have to require your image array size so now you have to first check make sure your label array and image array elements are both are same so now it's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so now again let's try to check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so now let's try to implement our first method number of item in section it means how many items you want on your collection view so now according to your label array or image array okay you have to also any array here so now here i am returning any array like return lbl array dot count okay now let's try to design our collection view cells using this method so now let's try to implement it's a cell for item at index path so now here you can see this method is returning one class it's a ui collection view cell but this class is used to create the default collection view but here i'm using a custom collection view so now for the custom collection i'm creating one class as a collection view cell so now let's try to implement this method using this class so now first here i'm creating one objects your collection view cell class okay means this class so now here i'm creating this class objects here and now whenever you create a custom collection at that time you can see it's required to identify your cell okay because here i'm designing one custom cell so now according to this custom cell you can see the property of cell it's identifier so now here my identifier name is cell because it's required to implement this class method so now how to use it so now cell it means your objects equals to your collection view dot for the identifying your cell we have one method it's a dq reusable cell with identifier so now here write down your identifier name so now it's a cell and then index path so now here with your class name it means collection view cell so now this is your custom collection cell class and now here i am using your cell control it means there are the two control image view and the label so now here you can use using your objects so now cell dot lbl cell dot tags so now i want this label error data on this label so now how to use it so now it's simply so now it's a label error then 
index path dot row now i am using image so cell dot image cell dot image now image view is always returning dot image property so now i want this wall image on my image view so now here i am converting your image array because your image array i am creating in a string format but here this image view is returning as a image so now here i am converting your string to image so now here we can use ui image class and the method of the name so now here you have to pass your image array and now it's a index path dot row okay now finally your function has been written a collection view shell it means this class objects so now here i am returning also as a cell okay so now this is the simple collection view i have to design according to our custom requirement so now here you can see i have to design one image view and one label on the custom cell now let's try to check the output so now run your application and see so now just hold it your application is on the way okay so now here i am using the collection view now simply we have to remember it so now difference between table view and collection view because table view and collection view both are the important controls for the application development so now here you can see here i am implementing the collection view using custom cell okay so now let's see yeah this is your collection view okay now according to our array implementation now here i am creating total 9 array elements so now here you have to see there are the total 9 items are created on the collection view let's try to implement some more so now here uh, i am using same array because i'll to say some uh, scrolling according to your a uh, collection view cell so now here i am using same array okay means here your collection view is repeated a uh, same element so now here again i am using it's a label array counted so now according to your array elements on collection view has been designed a different different cell item okay so now you can see okay okay so now your scrolling view means scroll bar it's automatically generated whenever you create the any elements in your collection view and you have to implement as per your requirement okay so now this is the collection view now one important property of this collection view is so now here you have to also change the scroll direction so now first select the collection view you can see the important property of the scroll direction so default is vertical now in simulator the default scroll direction it's a horizontal so now you have to also use as a horizontal direction so now you have to run your application and let's check again how to use a horizontal scroll direction in your collection view so now you have to also use this direction as per your requirement okay so now this is the collection view okay now this is the simple method implementation using a uh, number of item in section and cell for item at index part now let's try to implement one another method it's a optional method a uh, did select item it means whenever you select any cell okay any item from the collection view at that time this method will be called so now write down here as per your requirement whatever you want now here i am implementing one alert so now here ui alert controller and then title so now for example my title is technology
technologies and message so now here i want your selected item label value on here as a message so now here i'm using your label array directly and now you have to select any item at the time you have to use this method it's an index path dot row and now here i'm using as a alert now let's create one button so now for the button creation i have to use ui alert action now for the title it means button title now style i'm using as a restrictive and now handler it's always nil okay now add your button with your alert so using add action method and now just show it means present your alert using present method animated always true completion always nil so now here i am implementing one simple alert view in between did select item so now let's try to check whenever you select any item means any row from the collection view at the time this alert view is occurred okay so now you select your first item so now you can see okay our did select item method okay means this method will be call okay now again you can see any item you have to select any item in between okay you have to change means as per your requirement here you have to write any implementation using did select item okay so now for the collection view implementation you have to remember there are the two required method first is number of item in section and the second one is cell for item at index path then after you have to use any method so now those methods are the optional method so now here these two methods are from the data source and now here i'm using it's a did select item so now this method are from the delegates so now as per your requirement you have to implement your collection view you have to design your collection view using custom cell or default cell as per our application requirement so now this is the collection view thank you